hello it is day one i'm going to be showing the locks that i showed probably at the beginning of the video and as you can tell by the thumbnail they're kind of like the lisa bonet inspired locks of like making good like the locks where they have like the human hair at the end so i'm going to start with the back portion today what i did so far is i just twisted my hair like i was doing soft locks and if you need more content i have a two soft lock tutorials or you can check out any soft lock tutorials so I just parted them, I'll say about medium size, I sort of say about medium. I just did twist, I have in 73. Yeah, I have in 73 twists, so they're gonna be 73 locks. Hi, um, if it looks like I just woke up, that's because I just did. Um, we are on like day three of doing this hair, and let me show you a quick smoothie, so. Um, yeah, this is what it's looking like so far, and then just the curly pieces at the end. Um, I have about 30 left that I still have to work on, so I'm gonna show how I attach the curly hair to the locks first, just to make sure that like the human hair is not slipping out. And then when I get to this side, I'm actually gonna show how I wrap it, which is pretty simple. It's similar to soft locks, but um, I still wanted to show up. Okay, so I really look sleepy, but um, it's okay. I have human hair right here. I couldn't find any like already pre-cut like bundles and stuff. So I just bought um, some deep wave tracks and then I just cut it up. The reason why I prefer if they had like pre-cut bundles is cause a lot of these bundles, they're not, this is also another hair that I was using. I prefer this texture, honestly, this is a lot, this is more like a loose deep wave but I could not find it, so I had to go with a tighter curl. But um, if you could find something like this, this would be a heck of a lot better than this. But I just figured over time, the curl pattern in this will loosen up. So I'll be fine, cause that I needed for something else. So um, yeah, so I cut it off the track. However, a lot of these bundles, they're not, the fullness is not the same from like the base to the bottom, so like, you're gonna see a lot of hair come out. Because I mainly want the long part, but there are a lot of like short pieces, so I kinda have to like, it's kinda bad, but like I kinda have to go in and like waste hair a little bit. Cause I wanna make sure that I'm only getting the part that I need. I think about this much. There's a lock and I'm actually just gonna crochet it through. So I take my crochet latch, I insert it, depending on where I want it off the bottom, I'll be about it's probably like an inch and a half or so. Um, some of them I will be cutting them to make them a different length. Sky Jackson had hers and she had some in the front that were like shorter. So I might as I get like to like the front row here, I might cut some of them shorter. So. But anyway, I put the crochet lock through the lock and I just hook it onto the human hair. I pull it through and then, oh, let me make sure I'm showing this right. And I insert the crochet latch right through um, the lock here, right? And then I grab both ends, both the shorter end and then the longer end, and I grab both and I pull it through. So now, even when I pull, it's a bit like it's secure. And the shorter piece still comes out at the end. And so this is basically what it looks like. And then I'm just gonna wrap all the way to the bottom and I'm gonna show that. Which, I don't know if I mentioned, but um, I'm using the Bobby Loss Note Locks, the same hair that I use for soft locks. And then for wrapping, I use this. It's similar to that spring twist hair, cause I felt like, I just didn't want Martin here cause I kinda wanted a bit of like texture to it. Like Bobby Loss Note Locks, the sizes are a bit different. Like you'll find some that are a bit thicker than others. So if it's like really, if it's smaller, I will alter the size of the human hair that I add and just make sure that it's a lot smaller than this one that's a lot bigger, of course, so. Hi, okay, so I'm in the front and like I said, I showed a hair that I used earlier to wrap it. This is what it looks like. And it comes with this thick and I split it into three. I make like a smaller section right here and then the rest, this part, I split it equally. So there are going to be two sections that are going to be a little bit bigger and one that are smaller. So so at this stage, if you feel like you can go in and add some maybe shine and jam or whatever product you use to kind of clean up your parts. But like I said, 
I don't really feel like it, so insert the crochet latch to the base, attach the lock to the root, pull through, and pull through again, I loop it through. And then I take one of the bigger sections, and instead of just wrapping, I make sure that I crochet this in too, just so when my hair starts to get old, this doesn't like completely like slip off. So like, um, yeah, so again, and then I just start, oh jeez. <laughs> and then I just start wrapping. I try not to make it too, too tight. Um, honestly, not tight at all, but um, yeah. So, and as I said, I did these ones a bit shorter in the front because I just love that layered look. And a few things I've noticed so far, I'm just wrapping right now, so there's not much to it. But um, a few things I've noticed so far, and I'm gonna show the end result, but um, I ended up doing, I think, like I said, 73 locks. However, I feel like that's pretty full. And if I were to do this again, I'll probably do maybe like 60, maybe at most 63, but definitely I feel like I could have done without at least like 10 locks, so that is pretty full. So that's not really what I was fully going through, but then again, I'm not like upset. So anyway, as I'm wrapping this hair, since it is like that spring twist texture, you don't really need to do much for it to add texture to your locks. It kind of does that on its own. But every now and then, I kind of just use the butterfly technique where I put the hair over my thumb. I take some, I put some over my thumb. I take some, I wrap them, and then I let it rock. And then that's just how I add any extra little texture that I have. Um, if I feel like I need it depending on the lock and then I take my crochet latch again Because I'm done with the first piece of hair and I don't tie it. you could tie it if you want to but I don't find it necessary and then I take my crochet latch I insert it through the lock and I take the second piece of hair that I use and then again going in I pull it through just to make sure it's secure because sometimes if you just start wrapping as your hair gets older and stuff and you're putting it in ponytails and all that stuff, it could come apart. So I just like to put it through the crochet latch just to be safe. So yeah, as I go down every now and then, I'm just kind of using my thumb. So I just use the tip of my nails to kind of hold it and then I wrap once above it and then I let it go because now it's like secure. And then as I go at the end, I don't wrap I don't wrap too tightly at all until I get to the bottom where I'm almost done. And then I do wrap pretty tightly there. You could fold the lock up what is extra, but I just honestly, I wrap all the way to the end. And as you can clearly tell, that's a lot tighter. And then after I wrap it all the way to the bottom to where it, like the curl is what's left over, I take the hair and then I wrap back up again and I do it very tightly for at least like an inch at the bottom. And then after I wrap it tightly, I go back in and I start adding, using my thumb again to add some texture. And then, yeah, once I'm done with that wrapping hair, at this point, I do tie this part. Just for that extra security at the end, I do end up tying this portion. And I tie it about two or three times. And then I'm gonna go in one more time with the last piece of hair, because as you know, we split it into three. And then I just honestly take any point past my hair though. I take any point past my hair. Again, inserting the crochet lock through the lock, grabbing it, and then um, this one is just another layer. I do this a little bit for thickness, but also just to go in and add a little bit more of a distressed look if I felt like I didn't add enough. So this time, I, again, using my thumb, using the butterfly method to kind of just like add in that little extra texture and if the hair tangles it's actually perfect because it just adds to the whole messy vibe look type thing so yeah again i'm tying this off about three times and usually the little pieces that are left over sometimes i cut it if i'm doing like soft locks with this one i don't cut it because i want this to look as messy and free as possible but um, i feel like you get a better idea of what i'm just like, looking at here right now so this is like it's a lot of hair i feel like i could have done without like 10. so if you were to do this style i definitely recommend but oh my gosh just look at that texture though look how beautiful yeah but um like i was saying if you were to do this i definitely recommend you do maybe like i would say maybe like 55 to 60 locks again i'm going to show it maybe one or two more times taking the lock it's already like open up for me 
I take the first little section, the smaller section, because that's just to like distress it, and I don't need much hair for that. And then I take the rest, and then I split it into two. Again, I probably should have added a little bit of jam just to clean it up a little bit, but I'll survive. Yeah. So maybe just a little bit of jam doesn't hurt to like clean up your parts and stuff. But um, again, clip it, pull it through, hook it on, and then pull through. I make sure that it's secure and firm. I don't push it like too, too tight at the base because I like to leave a little bit of room just so when I start wrapping, it's not too tight. But like if I were to push this lock like all the way to the top here and then I start wrapping, it's very easy for me to like wrap very very tightly but um i like to leave a little bit of room just so it doesn't hurt while i'm wrapping my hair so again push it through just i leave that little room so like the first part that i wrap it is just strictly my hair and then i move down a little bit and then i start wrapping yeah and then Oh yeah, I don't think I explained this part. When I'm done wrapping the first portion, I don't tie either. I just kind of drop it and add it to the lock that's left over here. And I pick up the other section. And then wherever I stop, I kind of wrap over that section about three times. Just to make sure that like it won't come apart. And then I just continue to wrap down. And also with the butterfly method thing that I was talking about, I try not to do it on any part like before my hair i like to do it after i'm done wrapping my hair depending on how long your hair is you might not be able to but for me since my hair is not that long i like to do it um a little bit past my hair again as i'm getting to the tight i stop the whole distress thing and i'm just wrapping tightly just to make sure that like my lock doesn't fall apart usually don't fold the lock up the only thing that i'll fold going back up is the hair and that's after i'm like done um that's after i'm done like wrapping the bottom and i've covered all the lock that i have as i go up there's going to be extra hair so the part that i wrap so tightly now i can go ahead and add that distressed look to it so you don't even really see that tightness anymore it's just a matter of you got to do it to make sure that your hair is secure in the spot so yeah again just tying it off and then i'm gonna go in like like and at this point quite frankly you can stop like it looks pretty distressed as is but i'm gonna go in with that last piece of hair So yeah, so this is what the hair looks like. I'm kind of obsessed. It's a quick and simple tutorial, but I hope it helped. And if you create this, recreate it, make sure that you tag me and stuff. And yeah, it does have a bit of weight to it. So definitely size down and stuff. But like, if you like big buns, then by all means, this would be good. I don't mind a big bun, but this is like pushing it for me right now. <laughs> this is pushing I haven't had a big one in a minute so yeah that's pretty much it and I'm about to go to bed and bye for now